Hi there, and welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is all about the color black. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm all often asked, do you use black? Yes, the way I figure it, that if it's sold in the art store, I'm gonna use it. So I have no problems with black. Let me show you how much I love black. And, uh, first of all, sometimes I'll just paint all day long in the studio with just black and variations. And look, very little bit of color, very little bit. I also like to use black and white collage paper in my paintings. This is one of my uh, abstract landscapes that I'm working on. Look, it's mostly black and white, but I add a tint of a color in there. This is where I add color back into the black. All right, now this is where it's mostly a colorful painting, but then I'll add black back into it to emphasize that focal point. All right, so uh, I like where this is going, it's probably done, but this is more subtle. This is more like a side Twombly, where he was really soft colors, and then bam, look where your eye goes, just to draw attention to itself. You can't miss that, right? So even on the more recognizable pieces, where I have a lot of color from my color wheel, I'll add some black in here, which look, look it, it emphasizes this area even more so, more contrast. And the more and more of my, my Mana from Heaven series, where lots of things were falling down from, from the sky, lots of collage, lots of color, neutral tones, and bam, a little bit of black in there. So that's how I use color, mostly to emphasize itself or to draw attention to the focal point because it's so non-color in that sense. Hey, I'm gonna work on two demos for you right now. One's about putting color on top of a black and white painting and one about just the opposite, putting black back into a colorful painting. Hey, let's get going. So this is the first demo of two paintings. This one is all about me putting color back into black and white painting that has already dried. And this is one of my collages. Let's get started. So the name of this painting, I've, I've already entitled it. It's called uh, Migration. Migration. Going from the darkest part, for whatever reason, to the lighter part. So there's a movement. So this is a diptych. These two sheets of watercolor paper. I've already done the black and white tissue. There's even some aluminum foil on here just for the fun of it. So this is kind of the beginning. Now you're not gonna see this painting come to completion because this is only just a few minutes in a demo. But I wanted to show you how I start to do a painting. So I've done the fun part about the graphics. Look at the strength and the drama of black. You see? Yeah, so I have the movement right off the bat. So I haven't even used color, but now it's color time. And I don't want to cover it all up with an opaque paint. So I'm using uh, the color marigold. It happens to be a translucent color. So I'm going to completely change the personality of this painting. I'm gonna rub this in. I'm using a paper towel, a moist paper towel. I could use a brush. I could also use a brush. I better do that so I don't get into too much trouble. Here we go. Whew. Look at this. Oh. All over the place. So wonderful. So more paint all over the place. I'm going to leave that white. And as we go over here, it's going to get lighter. I'm going to dip my brush into the lighter part. This seems to be a mixture of white and violet over here. Just to warm down this yellow. It's a very strong graphic piece. Not meant to be anything more than just that and a lot of surprises. This is where I like to come in and scrape and draw. Scratch a lot. Whoa. Remember, migration. I'm gonna go back into black. Whoa. Really wet. 
Looks ominous, doesn't it? Well, that's the whole point of this. And while it's still wet, I might even throw in some rubbing alcohol. This is rubbing alcohol. Oh yeah, it breaks it all up. Look at that, whoa. This is the kind of stuff you can't really plan for. You always hope for the best, right? Now, if I'm going from dark to light, you can see how that's working for me. I'm going to stop at this point because I really wanted to show you, really, <clears throat> that this is how I get started on a whole series. And again, this, is, this one is called Migration. That was putting color on top of black and white. Now we're gonna do just the opposite, where I have a colorful painting and I'm going to add black and why it's important to me. So this is the colorful painting I'm gonna add some black to. All right, here we go. As you can see, it's a diptych. I always tape them together so I can work together at the same time. So it's, it's mostly blue, a little bit of red, some green and yellow over here right out of my color wheel, pretty subtle. I'm gonna really emphasize it, certainly emphasize the focal point where I'm gonna come in with black. Whew. Like, you can't miss that. Whew. See the contrast based on, on how soft it is over here, but look at the contrast. Again, I'm not gonna, gonna have an opportunity to finish anything. I really don't wanna finish it in this short period. I'm gonna come back in just to kick it up, whoa. I'm gonna stick with the blacks. Big wide brush, see how wide it is? And really, more water. Yeah, it was getting to be too tame. <laughs> Adding a lighter color. This, this is a mauve color, if I can use that word, mauve. It's a violet. And lots of white in it. So I'm bringing that in to really emphasize the dark. You see, that's really what I'm doing right here. And again, more, more water, more lightness. So it's pretty graphic, isn't it? And there you are, your eyes going, going to be going right there because that's the darkest spot around the colorful spots. This is where I like to draw with a long brush. I kind of add this goofy handle to my brush. And I do like to draw. And it, it allows me to stand back and see the whole painting all at one time. That's why I like the long handles. Ooh. See, I can see it instantly. What's right, what's wrong, where we're gonna go. Look how solid it looks over here. And it just starts breaking up all over the place over here. I like that. There's quiet areas, and here come the busy areas. And I like that. Quiet areas. It's a walk in the park. This is walking down Main Street. <laughs> all right. So that's how I work using black just to really emphasize an area. Notice this is quiet. There's no black over here. Alrighty, so I hope you've had a chance to play with this idea. Spend a whole week loving black. You know, whether it's Mars black, bone black, any kind of a black, it's black. And along with black, don't forget to use contrast like white, it's your friend. Hey, thanks again for watching this Bob Blast, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Hi there, I'm Bob Burridge, and this is all about Date Night with Bob. We just got finished doing one. See the paintings behind me? This is a two hour kind of a Zoom painting workshop is what it is. And we were painting for two hours. You can either do it along with me or you can sit back and have a, an adult beverage and watch at the same time. This is called a fun thing we're gonna be doing. We've done them already, so it's called Date Night with Bob. 
And don't you want to do that on a, whatever nights we have? Check out the schedule. It's right behind me, and we're going to be painting like crazy. I'll see you on Date Night with Bob. Hi there, this is Bob Burridge. And I was just thinking, you know, in this time of separation and by yourselves and you're in your studio, I was thinking, I think we're all writing letters, love letters to everybody. And so I got another idea. So let's do another virtual exhibition. It's free, no jurors, and who wouldn't want to put out their paintings of their interpretation of love notes. Let me give you some ideas. It doesn't have to be hearts and flowers and all the traditional stuff. Expand your mind for, you know, I have made some notes here, love notes, which could be the written word. It could be musical notes, physical contact. <laughs> it could be hearts and flowers and champagne and candy and love letters. It can also be by yourself. Okay, just think about that. So it could be traditional or abstract. It's your interpretation of love notes. And as I like to say, show me your love, baby. So here's how to include your painting. Sorry, I had to read that, but I wanted to get it all down there. And this is going to be exciting, and I can't wait to see all your work. So I'll talk to you a little bit later about that. So get started. Love Notes, your interpretation.